In response to the global pandemic, 2020 has seen governments around the world pass warlike laws quite unprecedented in peacetime, restricting and denying some of the most basic and fundamental rights and liberties we all have once enjoyed and took for granted. From 10 to 1, here are the 10 most controversial COVID-19 emergency powers passed in the UK in 2020. 10. Criminalising and banning household indoor social gatherings with family and friends who live in a different household in force during all but one religious festive period. 9. Laws criminalising people who don't wear face coverings at particular indoor settings unless a person is exempt for not wearing one. 8. Laws ordering the closure of venues from restaurants, gyms to non-essential shops backed by strong enforcement powers, including heavy fines of £10,000 if these businesses open in defiance of the law. 7. During national lockdowns, ordering the closure and shutdown of places of worship, sacred spaces used for worship and to inspire the faithful to support local people. 6. The power of public health officers to detain and quarantine potentially infectious persons for days and then to demand answers contained in the Coronavirus Act 2020. 5. Laws limiting the number of mourners who can attend a funeral of their loved one at the cemetery. 4. Laws ordering isolation of a person to stay indoors for days for those who have travelled from particular countries or who have been in close contact with a person who has tested positive for COVID-19. 3. State home orders criminalising leaving one's home unless you have a reasonable excuse first passed during the first lockdown in March 2020 and currently features in Tier 4 restrictions. 2. Forced cremation power contained in the Coronavirus Act 2020 allows national and local authorities to cremate rather than bury bodies against a person's religious beliefs or wishes. Thankfully, this hasn't been used in this country to date. And 1. The Health Secretary's power to issue numerous health protection emergency coronavirus regulations with incredibly far-reaching consequences to all our lives without notice, without public scrutiny and, most often, even without any parliamentary debate or vote. As 2020 has proceeded, the public and politicians' support for emergency COVID-19 restrictions seems to be increasingly divided along lines of protecting lives on one hand and livelihoods on the other, and bitter arguments over which sector should open or close, which restrictions are effective or not, and which region should or should not be in a higher tier to tackle the virus. Thank you for watching, stay safe, remember to subscribe to Community Legal Education, and May the justice be with you.